Well, this car is going bye-bye. I'm getting a new vehicle soon. This is my 2018 Ford Explorer. I'm getting a new 2021 Ford Explorer. So I've been wanting to make this video for a long time. Now, if you haven't seen the full tour of this car, I will link it right up here so you guys can go check that video out. But this is gonna be the five things I hate about this patrol car. Now, I will be making the five things I love about this patrol car as well in a separate video, uh, but obviously filmed on the same day. That being said, I don't hate this car. This Ford Explorer police interceptor has been the best police interceptor that I've had throughout my career. I've had the Crown Vic and I've had the Dodge Charger, and this is by far my favorite. But there are a few things that I found that I do not like about this car. First thing being the gas mileage. Now, I found myself going to the fuel pumps all too often um, compared to the Dodge Charger. I felt like the Dodge Charger got a lot better gas mileage. I probably only went to the fuel station every other two days or so. Uh, this one I have to do every other day uh, while I run out of fuel. So I looked up the average mileage per gallon that I was getting and it was 11.7 miles per gallon. That's terrible. Now, be granted, we do drive these cars a lot and we do get on them uh, to go after people when we're going to pull people over. Uh, we have to catch up to speed. So that could have a play in it, but I still think 11.7 miles per gallon for a 2018 flex fuel Ford Explorer is, is pretty sad. Uh, so yeah, it's kind of annoying to have to keep going uh, and get fuel. So the next thing is gonna be carpet, all right? Carpet in the back of the patrol car. Now, the seats are plastic which is great, but the carpet is still there on the floorboard. Now, why do I hate that? Well, when you arrest somebody who's highly intoxicated or you know high on drugs or something like that, and then you have a chance that they're gonna vomit or they're gross or something like that, but if they vomit on the floor or spill something on the floor, it's disgusting. And it's a lot harder to clean out on a carpet floor. Now, my Dodge Charger used to have entire the entire floor seat and everything, was plastic and it even had a drain hole so you could like wash it out which is great but this car doesn't uh, so kind of a bummer there uh, if somebody pukes on your floor luckily I never had that happen so I did luck out uh, but a few people it did happen to and it was quite a mess to uh, clean out and yeah we got to clean them we don't we don't get to drop them off at the inmates for them to clean it we got to do it all right next is gonna be the turn signal uh, I feel like it's mostly the left turn signal so I'll crank the left turn signal and make my turn go back straight and it just stays on. Uh, so it doesn't like to trigger off. I don't know why it does sometimes, but a lot of the times it doesn't and just stays on. Just a little thing, but it's kind of annoying, you know, you gotta turn it off. Uh, so nothing big there. All right, next thing. Now listen, these are kind of hard to find. There's a lot of things I didn't really not like about this car, but uh, another thing is gonna be uh, the rear view mirror. Okay, so sitting in the car, the rear view mirror kind of has a, it's just a, blocks your vision all right um it's good you know it's fine rear view mirror as for its purposes of rear view viewing but it kind of blocks your your vision a lot uh, so i find myself often you know having to kind of look underneath it to like see if a car is approaching from a certain angle or something uh, so it's just kind of kind of annoying to have to do that um, you can't adjust the seats uh, but you could lower the seat all the way down and it kind of fixes that but then i feel like i'm sitting really low in the car and i don't like that so yeah yeah, so yeah, just another one of those like pet peeve kind of things that are I don't like about this car. All right, and the final and the worst thing I hate about this car coming, that being said, coming from a Dodge Charger. All right, the Dodge Charger, the best thing about the Dodge Charger was the keyless entry. All right, all I had to do was keep that key fob on me and I could get in and out of the car, lock the car, start the car, everything. This car, no. Just back to the old key. Now you do get the key fob where you, you can unlock it with a button and everything like that. Uh, same thing with the trunk, you have to hit the button to unlock the trunk. Uh, you know, that's nice, but not as nice as having the whole keyless entry. Uh, it was really, really convenient just to go up to the door and open the door, and then if you get out of the car, you can just push the button, lock it uh, on the handle instead of having to mess with your keys. And then the push start. I mean, you just get in your car, push start, you don't have to take your keys off and everything like that. So that was a huge thing coming from the Charger that I just did not like with the Ford Explorer. So yeah guys, that is uh, everything that I dislike about this patrol car, but I still love it. So if you guys wanna see five things I do love about this patrol car, join me in the next video. And I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.